If you are relentless in your pursuit of breaking a certain barrier in running, it can sometimes happen quite suddenly in the most unexpected of ways. For one man, that running barrier has been to break 20 minutes for the distance of five kilometers. After already filming two unsuccessful attempts with Jog On, this would be Alan Outbound's third and last chance for him to finally break 20. To understand how this all began, I need to take you back six months to the time when I first heard about Alan's history with the 5k distance. Let's start with the main fact that influenced this project. Alan's official 5km personal best stands at 20 minutes and 4 seconds, eye-wateringly close to the 20 minute mark. He spoke to me at the time of his determination to one day get below that. I said I wanted to help and we agreed that he would put in the training and we'd film the attempt at an athletics track using an elite pacer so we could break the run down and be more accurate with Alan's pace for the 12.5 laps. Whilst this first attempt didn't yield a successful result, it did go pretty well. Alan ran 2020. Alan, we just realized you ran the year. And I felt that this was a sign that things were heading in the right direction. Back to the drawing board. More training and a few months later, we were filming a second attempt at a different track. But disaster struck as we were met with awful weather and head-on gusts of wind, which rendered the attempt fruitless. We don't think it's gonna happen. However, we persevered and got it done. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. Brilliant, well done. <laughs> And we left that afternoon, all of us feeling downtrodden, but particularly Alan, who had worked so very hard to only once again come up short of his sub-20 goal. And after that second attempt, I really felt that that might be it for Alan's motivation and will to keep trying. Fast forward a few months and I announced the Jog On Virtual 5K, a race for the audience of Jog On, be it the videos or the podcast, to enter for free. Alan decided he would register on the basis that it would be a good training run for him. I queried if it was worth filming, but felt that we had nothing to lose. GB Louise would also be testing her 5K, being paced herself by an elite marathoner called Joe. I invited Alan along and he agreed. A date was set. What happened next? No one expected. There is this amazing moment when Alan Outbound emerges in his van. I think he's in his top as well. Alan and his wife Sarah Jane pulled up, but first GB Louise was about to set off for her time trial. It's always windy when it's a time trial, isn't it? Let's go guys, good luck. Like two bolts of lightning, they streaked away. It was time for Alan's warm up. Alan's given them a head start because yeah. he didn't want to, you know. <laughs> Hi, you all right? Alan has begun warming up. Louise with Pacer Joe has just begun her 5K. Seeing Joe and Louise set off, it was a stark reminder of the levels, levels to running that there are. You have Louise who was pacing Alan for his sub 20 attempt and barely being out of breath. Why do you look so fresh? And then for Louise's attempt at going fast, you've got Joe, who's a 221 marathon runner, pacing her for her 5K. And likewise, Alan could quite happily pace the majority of the population because most people aren't running 20 minutes for a 5k so everything's perspective and wherever you think you are there'll be many people either ahead or behind you and that's why running ultimately can only be a competition with yourself with one loop nearly completed elite joe and gb louise came gliding past tuck in uses a windbreak as well they're so fast they are running at an absolutely absurd pace and Joe just makes it look like they're jogging. There's Alan way in the distance, bright orange top just there. As they went through the four kilometer mark looking strong. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice pace, come on. Well, Louise, relax the shoulders. Alan was warmed up and ready to go. This is Alan outbound, having a crack at the Jog On Virtual 5K, just a test to see where the fitness is at. Wind is absolutely horrible and conditions are terrible. <laughs> I know, the conditions are awful. On you, Alan, best of luck. 
With low expectations and a see-what-happens attitude, Alan was off. And he's off. A lone orange top runs into his future. Alan outbound there, heading off in his bright orange jog on top to take on the 5k. We're not expecting the sub-20 from Alan today, we're just seeing where he's at because the headwind is pretty bad today. He's not feeling tip-top. I caught up with GB Louise, who had just finished her 5k. Both her and Joe had experienced absurd headwind for the majority of their run. As for Alan, all I could do was wait. I'm just watching that point down there. Here he is, Alan outbound. Wind feeling okay? <laughs> Pretty horrible. Too bloody windy. Yeah, yeah. Just keep it smooth, dude. Just enjoy it. <laughs> of course, with Alan's complaint about the wind, I felt we would be doing well to get a sub-21 at this rate. As he came around for his second loop, GB Louise jumped in to help pace Alan for the final couple of kilometres. Having Come barely on. broken a sweat, Elite Joe left us to run home. The wind is just getting stronger and stronger. I nearly just got lifted off my feet. <laughs> Louise has just joined him for a bit of extra pacing. Calculating where Alan would roughly finish his attempt. Let's go, guys! I changed positions and waited. This is ridiculous. What, what a terrible day to try and run a 5K. And then, looking surprisingly strong, they suddenly appeared. You guys just came out of nowhere. I had absolutely no vision on you. He just boom, straight out. Well done, Alan. Lovely. From the grimace on his face, it was clear that Alan was going for it. Go on, Alan. Really nice. Keep pushing. With his shoes pounding beneath him, Alan surged forward and down the final straight as I gave chase. A glance at his watch, and it was done. Beautiful. Alan collapsed from the exhaustion, but we were keen to know the time. How was that, Alan? <laughs> 1945. Really? 1945? Are you insane? What the hell? Wow. Well done, sir. That was marvellous. 1945. He nodded in disbelief. Alan did it. You looked like you were running well. Not way more comfortable. <laughs> that was amazing. Well done. So impressed. 1945. That is brilliant. Stiff legged and slightly bewildered, Alan stretched out by a tree and talked about his feelings towards these 5k attempts. And nervous. Like the night before, I'm worried about it. Were you more relaxed today, do you think? Yeah, because I was just like, wow, well, it's too windy and I wasn't really worried about it. Whereas normally I'm proper, like, anxious in the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jolly good. Right, sub 18. Alan was complimentary of his jog on running top, stating that it was great for high bits. I wear it all the time. All of us slightly bemused and unsure of what just happened, we strolled back to the car park, had our photo taken just as the previous attempts to immortalise the moment. And then Alan's wife, Sarah Jane, arrived to hear the news. 1945, can you believe it? I was like, what? Just opens up all this possibility now. You can do anything with it. As he'd been following along so religiously and was even there to time the second attempt, I called the father to let him know the news. 1945. <laughs> Cheers, Sarah Jane. And there he goes. Alan outbound in the van of dreams, rocks up, runs a 1945 and drives off into the sunset. Amazing. Just like that, Alan Outbound was gone again. After six months since we filmed Alan's first 5K attempt, he had finally run under 20 minutes. Of course, many questions floated through my mind in the following days. How much did Alan benefit from the lack of pressure that day? As someone who was completely new to the track environment, was it his familiarity with road conditions that resulted in him running so much better on the third attempt? Or had he in fact been more than capable of breaking 20 if we had just had calm weather that day on the track? And of course, the classic debate around GPS watch accuracy lingers. But then, a couple of days after the attempt, we found out that the distance Alan had run, which he'd been recording in miles, had in fact been too far. This meant his revised 5k time was in fact 1930 on the dot. Either way, it solidified what an incredible run this had been. And I, for one, was very proud of his determination to get there. We'd done it. Now living full-time in a van, Alan has in fact started his own YouTube channel called Running Off Grid. If you're interested to see more of what he's up to, go check it out. Whilst the time next to Alan's name still officially sits at 20 minutes and 4 seconds, I feel we did prove to ourselves during this project and to Alan himself that he is more than capable of running fast and strong. And I'm confident that if he can get a 5k race in soon, as the running world begins to open back up, he can make his sub-20 official rewrite that number and show that with an unrelenting focus on your running goal, no matter how long or how many attempts it takes, you can do it. I'm Harry Morgan, 
go for that run. And this is Jog On. <laughs>